we were on a field trip to Fort Gibraltar, and then we were on a bridge, kind of, it was like a fence. Tamim Al Jafari was standing right there with more than a dozen schoolmates. And then randomly just started cracking when we were on it, and then, and then a lot of people just fell down. Tamim among them. I just didn't know what happened, then I couldn't breathe. It collapsed shortly before 10 a.m., the students from Winnipeg's St. John's Ravenscourt School. In total, 17 kids and one teacher taken to hospital. It could have been so, so much worse. Um, we were prepared for the worst. Winnipeg's largest hospital suspended surgeries to free up doctors. There are bruises and some broken bones, but nothing life-threatening. Some children uh, fell. Some children fell directly, and uh, there were also some children who slid down on the structure um, from the, the injury patterns that we saw. Relief there. But now, plenty of questions here. Why did this happen now? For contrast, this was posted by another school group just days ago. No signs of problems. Fort Gibraltar draws thousands of visitors a year, mostly during Winnipeg's Festival de Voyageur. The fort is owned by the city, the festival manages it. Parts of it were rebuilt about 10 years ago, including that walkway. So Cam, where does the investigation go from here? So a provincial workplace health and safety is taking the investigation. The Festival de Voyager and the city of Winnipeg both say that they'll cooperate with that. As for the school, people we've spoken to there are all saying, of course, they're relieved that this wasn't worse, but many of them will have questions of their own about how a grade five school field trip ended in an emergency room. No Adrian? kidding. All right, thank you, Cameron. Cam McIntosh in Winnipeg tonight.